Hello, this is Kelly Cookson, the Community Events and Engagement Coordinator for the Hospice Georgian Triangle Foundation. Today is June 1st, 2020, and I'm standing in front of Campbell House, our residential hospice. And today I wanted to talk to you about our 10th annual Hike or Bike for Hospice. When we originally set the goal for this event, we set it at $140,000, which was a lofty goal and it's more than we'd ever raised before. But we knew we had a generous community and we also knew that our funding needs have increased substantially. Um, just before the COVID pandemic began, we had been granted approval from the Ontario government to open uh, four more beds, bringing our hospice to a 10 bed facility. So of course our funding needs increased. That is why we decided the $140,000 mark was what we needed to raise to ensure that we can provide palliative care into the future for our community. So we thought, let's give it a shot. And then of course, COVID-19 happened. My name is Madison. I'm the fundraising assistant at Hospice Georgian Triangle. We're in the Robert C. and Ricky Thompson Sanctuary Garden at Campbell House. Um, on April 1st, we were forced to relaunch our event as a virtual event. And with that, we significantly lowered our fundraising goal uh, to almost just over half to $80,000. We had no idea what to expect. We made sure to include uh, some great prizes for our top fundraising team and individual. We had a $1,000 gift cer certificate to Squire John's. We had a $1,000 bicycle from Kamikaze. Uh, and our longtime food and beverage supporters, um, the Trude family with Tim Hortons and the Smardenka family with Boston Pizza, they actually included a $10 gift certificate each uh, for all of our registered uh, participants. Uh, extremely grateful for that. This is normally a community event. Normally we gather our entire community together. We have a wonderful group walk, uh, a group bicycle ride. We all come together at once for a beautiful lunch, uh, lots of fun activities, and that just wasn't possible this year. So we needed to find a way to still include everyone and have our community together apart. And what we did this year is we actually had all of our participants uh, ask them to submit images or videos of their virtual hiker bike. Here's a couple really nice ones. I'm Janet Fairbridge and I am very proud to be the director of the Hospice Georgian Triangle Foundation. I'm here today to be able to share some very good news with you. First of all, I want to give you a little bit of a history as to how we're funded and what the hike, hike and bike means to our overall funding. So as you are probably aware, we receive approximately 50% of our funding for Hospice Georgian Triangle as a whole from the government. Through the Ministry of Health, we receive uh, half of our funding and the shortfall, the other half, has to be raised by the foundation every year. Uh, this year to the tune of approximately 1.4 million dollars. And so, the importance of the hiker bike for hospice. Well, as you can imagine, uh, it's in a very, very important event this year and you will have heard uh, about our original totals. Um, what I am very privileged to be able to share with you today is what the response of the community has been this year. In a word, overwhelming is what that response has been. Um, we didn't really know what to expect having to do this in a virtual world in a way that we couldn't actually all be together. But what I am able to share with you that as of let's see 240 on Monday June the 4th, we are currently sitting at an amount of $110,444.98. As I said, overwhelming, unbelievable, completely extraordinary, and we want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who have participated, who have donated, who have supported, who have sponsored, who have contributed in so many ways. We are so very, very grateful. 
Um, we also know that that number is going to con continue to climb this week. We've received a number of uh, in-person donations that have been dropped off today. Um, they are continuing to come in online. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who continues to support us. The other good news I get to share are the names of our winning top fundraisers. So first of all, the individual who raised, single-handedly raised the most money uh, for this year's hiker bike is Anne Green. Anne, thank you for your incredible efforts. Um, you are the recipient of a brand new fabulous bike from our community uh, supporters and, and partners, Kamikaze here in Collingwood. So thank you to the Kamikaze team for, for their donation of this fabulous bike that Anne is going to be pedaling the trails of Collingwood on. Watch out uh, world, here comes Anne. And the other good piece of news, of course, is the top fundraising team. Now this is an exceptional announcement this year because it was a very close race. The winning team from last year, Curlers Without Ice, fought the good fight and they did really amazing work this year. But in the 11th hour, somebody pulled ahead of them and our top fundraising team this year Century 21 Millennium. Now, you also will note that Century 21 Millennium was our title sponsor of this event. They've knocked it out of the park. They came on board as a title sponsor with an extremely generous uh, support donation, and then they topped it. And they went out there and they were our top fundraising team. So thank you, thank you, thank you to the Century 21 Millennium folks. You're just amazing. Thank you from the entire Hospice Georgian Triangle family. We have been absolutely overwhelmed by the response. Given the current global climate, we had no idea what to expect. And in its 10 year history of this event, this is the most we've ever raised. So thank you to all of our many corporate partners, a lot of whom have supported us for many years. Thank you to each and every person who registered as a participant, to everyone who donated to the event, or a particular individual or a team, to everyone who spread the message with their family, friends, and neighbors, to everyone who shared their community building images and videos with us, many of which were extremely entertaining. <laughs> and look out for Hiker Bike 2021. We always hold it the last Sunday in May, and here's to hoping we can celebrate together in person once again. And now here's a list of, as of today, June 1st, every single person who donated to this event. Thank you.